Thousands of people gathered in the nation's capital today to mark the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington and one of the most important speeches in American history. There was no official count of the size of the crowd, but it stretched from the Lincoln Memorial down the length of the mall's reflecting pool and beyond. As Jeff Pegues reports, the day was filled with speeches about race in America and one man's dream. Today, the National Mall looked a lot like it did 50 years ago, as a new generation joined civil rights icons. We cannot go back. We come too far. And the everyday heroes of a nation's painful struggle for justice and equality for all. Clifford Lee was here in 1963. I was inspired then, and I'm still inspired by that speech. I have a dream that one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. King's I Have a Dream speech inspired a movement, and tens of thousands of people have come from across the nation to honor his vision. Congressman John Lewis says that vision includes everyone. It doesn't matter whether we're black or white, Latino, Asian American, or Native American. It doesn't matter whether we're straight or gay, we're one people. Many came on buses, leaving home in the early morning hours to retrace the steps of this historic march. We're here to pay homage to that moment in time, but to also carry that forward. Edith Lee Payne walked as a 12-year-old. Here she is that August day, barely tall enough to see through the crowds. I'm honored to be here standing for those that were here 50 years ago and aren't here today. But this is not just a commemoration, it's a call to action. Martin Luther King III told the crowd he believes his father's dream has not yet been realized. Far too frequently, the color of one's skin remains a license to profile, to arrest, and to even murder with no regard for the content of one's character. Half a century later, while many here are celebrating progress, 81-year-old Clifford Lee says the march continues. We haven't come far enough. We still got a long ways to go. Today was the march. Wednesday is the anniversary of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. President Barack Obama will be here to deliver a speech of his own, looking out at the Washington Monument, just as Dr. King did 50 years ago. Jim? Jeff, thank you.